All right, you chicken keepers, backyard poultry enthusiasts, and curious minds, I have a quick question for you. How much chicken feed does it take to produce a dozen eggs? It's one of those things you may not always think about, but it's pretty fascinating when you break it down and is helpful information to know when you're planning out your budget for the year. In today's video, we're gonna look at the cost. We're gonna break it down. We're gonna look at some of the variables between breeds, the type of feeds that you're giving them, and give you some tips so that you can make sure your hands are laying as efficiently as possible. And who knows, maybe we'll We'll even save a few bucks along the way. From how much your chickens are eating on a daily basis to how much the feed is actually gonna cost, we're about to break this case wide open like a cracked egg, so let's dive in. Psych, before we begin, I need to make a quick note that all these calculations and everything we're gonna figure from here on out is going to be based on averages. I mentioned earlier, there's a lot of variables, the age of your bird, the breed of your bird, what you're feeding them, even location, time of year, go into that. We're gonna look at all those variables, but as I move forward, we're looking at averages. So don't comment and say, that's wrong, that's not true. When I say an egg is laid every 24 to 26 hours, that's not true across the board. We're just looking at averages. So now that we got that out of the way, now let's truly dive in. Let's start with the basics. How do chickens turn feed into eggs and how much feed is required in order to do that? Well, a hen is gonna lay an egg every 24 to 26 hours, but in order to do that, they have to have the right nutrition. We're looking at nutrition because depending on what's in your feed is gonna dictate how much they need to eat every day to lay an egg. Chickens need balanced feed full of protein, calcium, and essential vitamins. Protein is what helps the hen form the egg white and maintain her energy levels, while calcium is absolutely critical for creating a strong eggshell. Think about it this way. Every time a chicken lays an egg, she's pulling all those resources from her body. Calcium for the eggshells, nutrients for the yolk, proteins for the whites. Every time she lays an egg, those nutrients and resources need to be replenished in her body. In order to do that, a chicken on average is going to eat about a quarter of a pound of chicken feed per day, which ends up being right around about a half a cup. But that's assuming that you're feeding something like Purina, which has all the nutrients they need in it. If you're feeding a cheaper feed with a lot of fillers, they're probably going to end up eating more. So let's do some quick math. Over the course of a week, you're looking at nearly two pounds of feed per hen, and each hen is going to lay an average of around five to six eggs every week. So you can clearly see how their diet directly impacts your egg supply. But not all breeds are created equal. Egg laying rates and feed efficiency vary by the different breeds of chicken. Certain high production breeds are really, really efficient at converting feed into eggs. So breeds like White Leghorns, Rhode Island Reds, and Isa Browns are able to convert that feed into an egg nearly every 24 hours in their prime. Other heritage breeds like Silkies and Polish are less efficient and can sometimes take between 50 hours in between each egg. So they just require more nutrition and more feed in order to keep up. Next, you have to consider the age of your birds where most breeds are gonna start laying around six to eight months. They're gonna lay at their peak at their prime until they're about 18 months to 20 months old. After that, every subsequent year, they're gonna drop production about 10%. So a four-year-old bird laying compared to a year-old bird laying, it's going to be drastically different. A four-year-old bird is just way less efficient at converting that feed. You're going to have a much longer time period between your eggs compared to a bird that's in their prime. And let's not forget about environmental factors because during the winter when it's colder, hens tend to eat more feed to stay warm, which means their efficiency drops a little bit. On the flip side, free range hens that can forage for bugs, seeds, and greens might eat less feed in the warmer months, offsetting some of your costs. This is why the basics are so important because it's not about just pouring feed into a feeder. It's about delivering the right nutrition to your hens that they need so they will keep delivering those delicious eggs that you love collecting every morning. So now that we've covered the basics of nutrition we figured out how much this single hen eats to produce a single egg let's dive into the real question of how much does it actually cost in order for them to produce a dozen eggs this should be pretty simple all we need to do is some basic math we're going to have a half a cup it'll be about a quarter of a pound for a chicken to lay a single egg now that chicken is going to take about two weeks we're going to say 14 days for her to lay a dozen eggs which i just now realized they would all be the same egg right if you didn't know chickens they they only lay one basic color Anyway, that would take her about three and a half pounds of chicken feed to produce a single dozen. Now I paid $18 for this bag of Purina layer feed. It's gonna vary, that price is gonna vary depending on the type of Purina feed that you're buying and where you live, okay? Location plays a huge role in that. If you didn't know, a lot of that just is based on the price of the grains. So if there's corn and soybean in this feed, then the price of corn and soybean in your local area is actually what dictates the, the price of your feed. That changes considerably. So we're just gonna go with my price. I got $18 for this bag. 
it is 50 pounds. If it takes three and a half pounds for a single dozen, I can get about 14 dozen eggs from a single bag of feed, which means this dozen eggs cost me a dollar and 35 cents. That ends up being just over 11 cents per egg. But again, keep in mind that is based on the current price that we're paying in our area for that particular Purina feed that we are giving them. There are Purina feeds that have prebiotics and probiotics already worked in. There's feeds with extra additional protein, like 19%. And there's medicated feeds in order to help prevent your birds from getting sick or having diseases. So the cost of your feed is gonna vary a little bit. And that leads to a really important point, which is that not every single chicken farmer is doing the exact same thing. In fact, I don't think there's any two chicken farmers that are alike. We all have different breeds, different ages, different locations, and different things that we are feeding them. Them. What I want to stress today and the tip that I'm going to give you is that you don't know what you don't measure. You have got to be making these calculations for yourself because too often I hear people say, ah, that feed is too expensive. I'm going to go with this cheaper option. Even if you don't know the nutritional differences and what effects that's going to have on how many eggs you get laid or that bedding product, I don't need that extra cost or these treats or this medication, whatever it is, you've got to calculate how much feed and your input costs go into producing a single egg. Otherwise, you have no clue. So do your own measurements, calculate these things for yourself. It's gonna save you a lot of time and money. You'd be surprised at the results. So to wrap up this video, I'm gonna show you how to calculate how much it's costing you to produce a dozen eggs, metaphorically speaking, right? The chickens are still the ones laying the eggs, but at the end of the day, you're the one paying the bills. So it's important that you know how much it's costing you. To do that, you just have to figure out your average feed per hen per day by tracking your feed inputs and dividing that by the total number of birds in your flock. Next, keep track of how much time it took for your flock to lay a dozen eggs. Then you'll multiply your daily feed amount by the days it took you to get a dozen eggs. And all that's left is to figure out your feed cost. Divide the total cost of a bag by the weight of the bag to find out your cost per pound. Now you just have to multiply the cost per pound of feed required for a dozen eggs. Now to calculate the true cost, we have to add the following. Bedding costs, electricity if you're using things like coop lights, heated water bowls, or even heaters. Medications, supplements, or veterinarian costs. Then of course you need to calculate your initial cost for setup, like your coop, fencing, everything that you need to raise your birds and just make that calculation based on how many eggs those birds are going to lay in their lifetime. Then of course you've got to calculate in the cost of your birds themselves, figuring out the depreciation for the decrease in egg production if you're going to keep them as long as they live, figure out how much it's going to cost to replace that flock when you get new birds. By calculating all these things together and adding them up, you'll figure out what your true cost is to produce a dozen eggs and this will help you make financial decisions moving forward, maybe even figure some things that you could cut out or add. Like I mentioned earlier, if you're giving them a cheaper feed, you end up paying more for the filler and you're getting less eggs per pound than if you're giving a high quality feed like something from Purina. Either way, I hope this practice is helpful for you and your chicken farm. Best of luck and we'll see you in the next video.